All right, our function is the cubic function. I showed up that graph. Its zero point passes through the origin and it flattens out in the middle and it extends from negative infinity to infinity in both the domain and the range. There are a lot of parameters that will affect the transformation of this equation. It's A, B, H, and K. Uh, A and B will stretch and shrink it, and H and K will shift the equation. And the horizontal and vertical aspects, the horizontal are on the inside of the parentheses, vertical are on the outside. Uh, the stretch and shrink is demonstrated here, where the graph is shrunk because there's one half and one half, and the, that affects the A and the B. The uh, horizontal, showed by this very poorly drawn uh, equation, is uh, it shifts to the right too because it's negative two. The shift is demonstrated by this equation where it shifts, the whole origin point is just shifted down because there's a negative two H and a negative two K. Well, actually that's a positive two because there's a negative. And then vertically, it is shifted up because of the two and the two. And it like is more skinny now because it also had the, it was stretched with the two. All right. When you're inside the parentheses, you always do the opposite of what it says. And uh, to explain this, if the H up there was a negative 4, then instead of going to the left 4, as you would think you would go, you go to the right 4. And if B is 1 half, then you multiply the X by 2. Instead of doing it, like you put the 1 over whatever it is. So 1 divided by 1 half gives you 2. And when you're outside the parentheses, you kind of like do as it says. Like if k is 4, then you would go up 4, like you would think you would do. And then if 3, you multiply the y by 3. This is another example of the equation where you can see the a is 3, the 2 is 1 half, the negative 4 would be x plus h, and the 2 would be y plus 2. And then you kind of like combine that all together. When you're working with the uh, inside of the parentheses, which get, is the H, you do opposite of the order of operations. So you do like the X plus, eight, X plus H first, and then you would multiply it by one half. And then this you do as it says. So it's like three times negative eight, and then plus two, and you'd get that. So that's how you would transform negative two, negative eight into one negative 22.